welcome to the Big B and Little T channel. I'm Tina and today we're going to do a series of exercises seated in a chair. Now when you do these exercises you need to choose a chair that is firm. It can be without arms or it can have arms, whichever you have. You also want to make sure before you start any exercise routine that you check with your health care provider to make sure that it's something that's good for you. When you're sitting in the chair, you want to have your feet flat on the floor like this. I am quite short, so I cannot scoot all the way back in my chair and remain with my feet flat on the floor comfortably. So I need to be up just a little bit. But you want to be sitting nice and straight. You can see from this side view that I have some space between myself and the back of the chair. If I was uncomfortable sitting straight, I could take a pillow and place it between myself and the back of my chair to help me sit up straight like this. Of course, if you have long enough legs, you could scoot all the way back in your chair and sit comfortably with your feet flat on the floor. That's just a little hard for me because I'm short. For all these exercises, we want to make sure that we're breathing the entire time. So we're going to start off with some breathing exercises. Get yourself settled so you're comfortable in your chair and we're going to start with some deep breaths. So we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. You want your lips to be a little bit pursed. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's do two more. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Last one. When you're sitting nice and tall, you want your shoulders to be down away from your ears, not like this, but relaxed while you're sitting up straight, hands in your lap. The first exercise we're going to do is looking left to right. So we're going to start off to the left, look over our shoulder, forward, and to the right. We're going to do that eight times. That's two, three, four, remember to breathe, five, six, Seven, last one to the left, forward and right. Let's take a deep breath. In our next exercise, we're gonna do our arms in circles. So put your arms out left to right, nice and straight, and we're gonna start by going forward, tiny circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the back for eight. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's rest our arms a minute. These exercises are really good if you are a little bit older and you haven't been exercising any at all and you need to gain some muscle strength. It also would be good if you have been recuperating or recovering from either some surgery or for some illness or maybe a long period of recovery and you need to just get back into the swing of things a little bit slower. It's easier to do when you have the chair helping you balance and you're not having to be on your feet in case you might be off balance a little bit or lack some strength in your legs. Let's do those arms exercises again. This time we're just going to do four. Starting four to the front. Here we go. And one, two, three, four to the back. One, two, three, four. And rest your arms. Let's take a deep breath. Exhale. Our next exercise, we're going to put our arms in front of our face and then we're going to open them wide. Close like a peekaboo, open them wide. Let's go for six more. That's five. We have three more to make a total of eight, seven, and eight. Good. 
Now we're going to rest our hands in our lap and we're just going to exercise our shoulders. We're going to bring our shoulders up to our ears, rotate them back, squeezing our shoulder blades together and back down. That's one circle, up to our ears, back and down. That's two, up, back and down. That's three, up, back and down for four, halfway there, five, Six, make sure you're sitting up straight. Seven, last one, four, eight, good. Now we're going to reverse the circle. We're gonna start back, up, forward, and down. That's one, back, up, forward, and down. Two, keep going. That's four, halfway, back, up, forward, and down. Nice circles. That's six, seven, and last one, up, and down. Very good. Now just rest your hands lightly on the side of your chair, or if your chair has arms, rest your hands on the arms of the chair. We're going to take our feet and lightly pitter-patter them. Ready? Here we go. That's 10. Keep going. That's 20. Keep going. And 30. One more set of 10. And 40. And rest. That exercise is good for our legs, these big muscles on top called the quadricep, and also for our core, having to lift up our legs. Now we're just gonna alternate kicks out to the front. We'll do 10 on each side. Starting with your right, then left. That's one. And two. And three, this is using those same muscles. And four. Five, hold on to your chair for balance, or the arms of the chair. Six. And eight, make sure you're breathing. One more each leg. And 10, very good. Now I'm gonna scoot a little bit forward to the, closer to the front edge of my chair, not all the way on the edge, and put my feet out straight and we're going to windshield wipe our feet. We're gonna to go to the right, back to the middle, to the left. That's one, we're gonna do it eight times. Right, middle, left. Right, middle, left. Right, middle, left. Continue to sit up straight. That's five, we've got three more. And last one, middle, left. Good, and while we're still sitting here, holding onto our chair or onto the arms, we're gonna alternate leg toe taps to each side, starting with the right. We're gonna go right, back to the middle, left to the middle. Continue, that's two. We're gonna do eight all together. Three, right leg, and left leg four, five, make sure you're sitting up straight and breathing, seven, one more each leg, good. Now we're just going to keep our heels on the floor like so and point our toes and flex our toes for eight times, that's one, point and flex, point, flex, pull them towards your face. That's three, four, five, three more, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to exercise those quadriceps and our core once again 
This time we're going to lift both legs up and we're going to hold them up for a count of eight. Ready and lift and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's rest. Make sure you're still sitting up straight and your shoulders are back and down, not scrunched up like this. Hold on to your chair or the arms and we're going to do it again. Ready and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Let's take a couple of breaths. One more breath. And we'll do that one more time for a set of eight. Ready and feet out and hold for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's rest our legs and our core for a minute. Make sure we're seated nice and firmly in our chair. We're going to circle our arms around starting at the front in big circles and while we do it we're going to flick our fingers to exercise our hand muscles at the same time. Ready and circle to the front, overhead, around, and back down. We're going to do four big circles. That was one. Keep flicking to the front, overhead as best you can, exhaling, back down. Two more circles. Here's number three. All the way out, exhale down, and last one, breathing in, all the way up, and out, and down. Hands back in your lap. We have one last exercise with our arms. We're going to hold them out like a goal post. And then we're going to reach up and pull it down, keeping our shoulders down. That's one. We'll do it for eight times. Two. Three. And four. Five. Six. And breathing. Seven and eight. There! You did it! Thank you for joining me for this 10-minute exercise routine. I hope you join me again and keep building up your strength. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.